Blessings, blessings, and salutations. I come to you humble as I know how from the beautiful and glorious Flatbush Ave. Uh, I come with a message of peace and unity. I was charged with terrorism. Uh, they calling me a terrorist. Um, and I've got something to say about it, uh, but I want to wait for some people to get on here. Um, first of all, I just want to thank all the people out there who've been supporting me, who've messaged me on social media platforms, people who've sent me cash. I'm going to drop my cash app again because that is the only way that we have been able to actually be effectively mobilized. You know, right now is a time when there's a lot of naysayers, a lot of talkers, uh, not a lot of doers. Uh, and there's a major difference. There's a major difference between people who, um, who've been talking and people who've been doing. So, you know, there's a couple more people on here and I imagine that this will be shared. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time. First of all, uh, I just got out of uh, incarceration. They incarcerated me. They charged me with terrorism. Yes, I can't discuss the details of my case for my attorney. Uh, you know, I used to be an attorney. Uh, but, you know, Fox News made my statements go viral. Um, and, you know, I met with Jackie that day. Uh, she asked me if I wanted to speak with her. And I said, absolutely. And I told her about the FTP movement, which I'll be getting tattooed shortly. Uh, looking for tattoo artists. If you guys know any, any tattoo artists, please have them reach out to me. I need that. Uh, so just to give people first the understanding of who I am, I love Jewish people. I no, let me not, let me not let me not equivocate. Jewish people and I love each other. Okay, there's never been an incident. My name is Israel. My first name is Israel. There's never been an incident in time where I've ever said anything negative or you know disingenuous or or, or nasty towards Jewish people. My best friends are Jewish. One of my producers is Jewish. We hang out with him all the time. Shout the cast. You know, it's weird because I've been on I've been on the right side of history my whole life, calling for peace my whole life. And with one stroke of uh, camera switch, people are calling me, a, you know, a, a rioter. They're calling me a terrorist. They're calling me somebody who's race baiting. But I never thought they would call me anti-Semitic. I was something I could, I couldn't understand. My mom named me after the Jewish people because she wanted me to be a warrior because of how much she loved Jewish people. So it was amazing to me that that's their, that's their biggest argument against me too. You know, I'm not going to get into the details of the allegations, but never would I ever disgrace my family and my name by inciting violence. If you look at me, forget what I said. And never mind if you want to interpret it whatever way you want, I can't get into it. But if you look at me as a person, as a human being, since the beginning of the protest, I have been the one on the front line saying, I do not support looting. I do not support rioting. It's a black eye to the movement. I've been telling people there are plants within the crowd, within the community, who are actively striving to hurt us, who are actively striving to sort of make the FTP movement violent. I never tagged uh, any property. We tagged the boards with chalk to spread the word, but not with spray paint. We tagged the ground. I made a mural with chalk because chalk is impermanent. Just like these racist oligarchies, these banks who don't want to contribute to the cause. I don't want people to get misconstrued. I do not promote violence. Never would I ever promote violence. I'm a member of GA, a 12-step program. I have God. I have God in my life, you know? So I don't I don't want people to ever get confused. But at the same time, we're talking about, you know, whether it's violent, whether you want to set fire to this thing. I just came from Central Bookings. If I told you that every Black, Jimnet, every Black man, if first of all, it was really only Black men, but then every black man that I encountered got railroaded in the time that I was in. They, they held me overnight. They didn't want me coming to the protest the next day. They did what they had to do. I don't blame the NYPD. It's people. They're all people. Some of the good cops at NYPD, they're people. They're under hostage just like I was, just like those black men who are in, incarcerated, who were giving moldy cheese sandwiches, no pillows. It's dirty. It's disgusting. There's roaches and ratchets in the same cell. They held me there for 27 hours. Okay, to my brother, thank God, was able to, to get me out. My lawyer, shot the Ken, was able to help me out. They didn't give me a phone call. I couldn't tell my wife who I was, couldn't talk to my daughter, my son. This is the problem, okay? And they set bail on me. They tried to set bail at $15,000. Think about this. I said to the people, we need to come together. We need to be peaceful. Even though this is a bullish curfew, obey it because an unjust law eventually will break. And it broke. I said all these things, and they arrested me. I want you guys to see what they did to me. They broke skin. They put the cuffs on me so hard. I think half of the reason 
they didn't want me to get out right away is because they didn't want me to be able to tell you guys what they did to me. They beat the crap out of me. They beat the crap out of me. They wanted to make me know that I was going to be an N-word no matter where I was, no matter what I said. I'm sitting in the crowd. I'm in the top of the crowd saying unity, saying the people united will never be defeated, saying that together we stand divided, we fall, all these things. And all of a sudden I'm incarcerated and I'm a terrorist. But you know, the brothers in the cells, they understood where I was coming from. Because what I was saying is that how random is it that you start to collect your people, you start to organize, you start to encourage them to be active, and then you become a terrorist. You know who else was a terrorist? Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, the Black Power Movement, the Civil Rights Liberation Movement, okay, Malcolm X. They were all considered terrorists, okay, because they wanted to organize and enrich their communities. You know, this probably won't get out there. This probably won't be public. It probably won't go as viral as the statements I made. The only thing I want to apologize to, or the only person I want to apologize to is my mom and my dad, and my aunt and my, my mom and my wife and my kids, because you guys, unfortunately, had no interest in this. This is not, this is nothing to do with you. And I see these alt-right people attacking me. They're, they're putting pictures up of my family. They're putting my phone number on the internet. They're putting hate mail in my my address. They're 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 messaging me these disgusting messages. It's all racism. It's all racism. And that's how I know I'm on the right side of history, because you don't say these negative. They're calling me the N word with the ER. You know, they're talking about my mom, talking about my dad. They're saying all these things about me. Why? Because I'm hitting a nerve, and the nerve is the people united will never be defeated. Now, here's my question to you. Why would you call somebody a terrorist when they just disperse a crowd of over 20,000 people who march away from the city, away from the district, towards a place where they could actually get home one time for curfew, and then said a prayer for peace, okay? I said a prayer for peace, okay? I'm praying to God that we stay peaceful. I'm praying to God that we become united, that we wake up. And then what do they do? Violently attack me, abuse me. I don't know if you guys can see these marks on my wrist. I said, yo, he put the cuffs on me. He came up to me. First of all, I was on rollerblades and a hockey stick. If I didn't want to, I mean, all right, I can't get into my case. But bottom line is, when they took me down, when they took me down, they wanted me to feel it. And they got it. I, I shouted. I don't shout. I'm strong. I would never let my black woman see me cry. I'm not into that. But I'll tell you what, they wanted it, they wanted it to go down like that. They wanted it to go violent. They wanted me to respond in a way that would make me look like a criminal. I didn't give it to them. I screamed out, yes, because I they literally tried to kill me by cutting off my circulation in my wrist. Okay. So I had to scream. I had no choice. So people could understand what was going on. But truly and but but truly, truly I I let them take me. I let them have me because I have nothing to hide. And today I'm I'm a, I'm a pure man. I don't have any reservations about what I'm doing here. I'll be back out there, Barclays. You know, my lawyers instructed me not to, to play with these cops because they have their own agenda. The alt-right has its own agenda. You know, cops can obviously arrest you for anything. So I have to be very careful. And I can make moves from my home. I can make moves from here. Let me tell you something. I plan on going to the Diamond District. I have so many allies. Alaz, James, the Roth... Uh, the Rosenbergs, people who hold my diamonds for me are in the diamond district, okay? I have no interest in hurting anybody, none, zero. I'm a hip hop artist. I speak in parables, okay? When somebody says, do this, de Blasio, do this, Cuomo, anything I say after that is designed to get them to listen, okay? And people are listening now. My mindset here is that all the negative things people think that I was trying to cast, I'm not worried about it, why? Because this part right here, this thing right here in my chest, inside of my chest, that heart has good in it, okay? And what it is designed to do is bring us together. So, okay, you see FTP is fuck the police. That's where it started. I'm not going to lie. It was fuck the police because you're killing us. But as I got a chance to pray, to meditate, to move into the community, to see the white pouring out. When I was out in the streets, I got robbed by a Spanish dude, David Riviera. It was white people who said, what do you need? Do you need water? They brought me water. She, Rachel cooked for me. 
You know, they brought me a blanket. I start to see, you know what, it's not all fuck the police. Some of the cops back me up. Let him stay there. Don't bother him. That man is a good man. Leave him alone. I have hope for unity. My mindset is by July 4th, we should all be coming together as one. But what I won't condone, what I do not support, what I do not support is de Blasio or Cuomo or Trump or anybody trying to create separatism amongst the people by calling me an anti-Semite. It's not, it's, my name is Israel. You can ask anybody who knows me. I'm the one person that doesn't allow that to go down, okay? In my movement, I'm stopping the looting. I'm stopping the rioting. That's why I lead at the front. I don't go back to, when I have a protest, I go all the way to the front and I go all the way to the back and the back because I'm gonna make sure that my sheep, but my people are following me, my herd, it's pure. That we keep our purpose pure because I honor the legacy of George Floyd. I honor the legacy of Breonna Taylor. When I say to them, no justice, no peace, I'm praying for justice first. The, un, the, the lack of peace, the no peace part, is us moving through the streets and shutting the street down. If we don't get it, shut it down. Not necessarily to burn things, but my name is Ace Burns. It could go that way. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. What I'm saying is we're trying to avoid that. When I was in the city the, defending Nike, people were, were literally on the cusp of destroying the city. It was only me moving them, pushing them away, getting police officers out of harm's way that kept the peace. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying the youth have no direction. How much can I do? They have me incarcerated in handcuffs with rats and roaches. They're not giving me anything to eat, no water, okay? And I'm telling the kids to be peaceful, to be calm, to follow the rules. You're telling the leader of the, the movement to be peaceful that he's a terrorist? You gotta think about what's going on here, de Blasio. You gotta think about what's going on here. And I love Cuomo. I know that Cuomo has something to do with my bill. They told me that you know, he was probably trying to get people to get bail because he didn't like how the DA's, the district attorney's office wasn't sent bail for people. I don't care. I think he's a good man. I think he's righteous, okay? And I still want to work with him. I still want to sit down with him, talk to him about solutions. Repeal 58. We're all on the same page that. Create a youth council, 12 to 27, for the kids. Start voter registration. Let's get the communities of color involved in politics. Let's have, let's give them a voice. They've been here for centuries centuries building this company and they still are disenfranchised. That's not right. They need voter registration now. And fourth, and this is the piece they silenced me on. We need housing for the homeless. We've got all, we got all these high rises in the city that are empty now because of Corona. They probably won't even be brought back. Put the homeless in these buildings. Give them a chance to enrich their lives by cleaning up and earning, painting, maintaining daycare centers, coding services. We can do so much more right now with this opportunity, but they want to call me a terrorist. If that's terrorism, so be it.